In this video, I'm going to talk about kidney disease. You may be somebody who's got an interest for your own kidney health, or you're going through your own kidney problems and worried about it. So this video, I'm making it from my perspective, and what are the main symptoms of somebody who has a kidney function of 10%. The first thing I noticed, how this all started, and it comes to a urine test. And one of the first signs you've got kidney problems, something to look out for for yourself. I was aware of kidney issues before this, but I didn't know the first kind of symptom. And this was the first symptom for me, was formic urine. That means there's protein leakage going out into your urine that shouldn't be. The way the kidney works is it should take care of the protein in a certain way and when they're not working as efficiently as they should this results in protein leaking more into your urine the biggest symptoms i'm i have felt really uh, is summed up really in energy levels uh, fatigue there's reasons behind this which i'll go into but for physical symptoms fatigue is a big one uh, not just physically mentally often you feel wiped out. Other symptoms are cramps, pains in my lower feet, cramps middle of the night regularly, waking up with this horrible pain in my one foot and then another foot on the sole of my feet. They become very sensitive. Now I've got, you know, kidney problems. And the other symptom I notice, which um, is not pleasant at all, I get a tingling in my fingers usually in the late evening it's almost like described as my fingers go a bit feel like they're going to numb in a way and it's not a pleasant feeling what that is i believe is a lack of i'll go into more of the other things going on in the background the bloods but i believe it's um, a lack of oxygen going around my body and that's hence why tip of my fingers i get tingling and they can last for an, an hour, two hours, sometimes all evening. And they come and go, really. It's kind of regular. So that's another symptom. So the three, the three main symptoms I've had, or I get, is fatigue, pains in my feet, and these tingling, tingling. That's the biggest three physical symptoms, that how it affects me. But what about the blood? What's causing these symptoms? Why? Let's understand that a bit. I've got what's known as anemia, renal anemia. I am anemic, basically not enough red blood cells carrying oxygen around my body. So I'm on medication to help uh, keep the red blood cells higher and it affects the hemoglobin. So there's lack of, a lack of oxygen going round in my blood because of the low blood cells. Another symptom I forgot to mention is lightheadedness. I feel dazed in my head and that's linked to the anemia, I believe, the lack of oxygen. And especially when I've done exercise, I've done a uh, walking for a while, I can start feeling dazed in my head. And at times I started seeing almost double vision as well so that's another physical symptom that i noticed and when it comes to the blood it's affecting my blood in various ways might be aware of calcium levels my calcium levels are very low my vitamin d levels affected i have low vitamin d levels all these are issues of having a malfunction in the kidney and you don't realize what it does to your blood and how it helps things like vitamin D, your calcium, my B12. I need to have injections for that. And I'm on tablets for vitamin D. And another issue as well I put down to my kidneys is I lost weight. Last year I went, went through a point of losing weight. I went down at one point 10 kilograms, which is quite a lot really. I have since gone a little bit, I'm stable now, a little bit higher, but I'm still what you call, would call skinny, I suppose. I did look at myself in the mirror in Cornwall last year and I was definitely very, very skinny. And I put this down to the kidneys also. I went through a phase of changing my diet. Um, at the time I lost a lot of weight. Um, I think a lot of people who have kidney problems, they go for a phase and look at what they're eating. I've got very conscious of what I'm eating and um, it's affected that because I think about quite a bit like certain foods 
I, what are they like for the kidneys? Um, and I'm, I often hold back from a lot of things like greasy, like crisps, fried food, chocolates, too much sugar. You know, I really, I really resist a lot of it and um, just try and eat better, you know. I don't get too obsessed with the, the kidney diet because when I, when I tried that last year, I ended up losing a lot of weight very, very fast. Um, but uh, I believe the kidney changing your diet can help a hell of a lot. Some people it really reverses the, the, the kidney damage. Uh, in my case, I already know my kidney damage cannot be reversed. Why do I know this? Because in December 22, I had a biopsy and revealed that you know there was constant scarring going on uh, there's a condition that I've got um, so I knew no matter what I what I will do my diet my kidneys will not improve and that's why I need a transplant another thing how it's affecting me as well is hypertension it's caused me to have high blood pressure um, so I need medication for that two lots of medication for my blood pressure now because if I don't the blood pressure is constantly high because the kidney is not doing the job I am filtering the blood as it should and it's affecting everything in my body um, I don't fully understand it about the about the uh, why the blood pressure is high but it but the kidney is affecting the blood pressure and also when it comes to I'm talking about diet we're talking about drinking alcohol it made me stop completely I got to a point where I just decided I don't need alcohol it's obviously not going to do my kidneys any good. There's things I know I can do and not put in my body that at least will not harm them anymore. And one of those big things is alcohol. I don't need it. And I've just kind of learned not to, not to uh, need alcohol anymore. Not drinking. It just changed things a bit when you're out in the social scene and you run for your people and who uh, are drinking, you go to a bar and stuff. Going to a restaurant's different, but going to a bar in the, with, with the intention of having beers and drinking on holiday, it's just uh, not as appealing anymore because I don't want to drink, you know? And uh, just having soft drinks, ginger beer and stuff, it's just, it's not so great. Water as well. I'm still kind of early on this journey. I'm still learning along the way and, and I hope you have learned something as well. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm probably quite far down the line in terms of kidney disease compared to a lot of people. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to hear more kidney videos revolving around renal and, and kidney, the things I'm learning along the way, then uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, that will really help. Leave a comment. If you're going through kidney problems yourself, you're worried about it, leave a comment. Yeah, it might, it might help just take some of the worry off, off your mind because going through something like kidney disease is very, very, at times, distressing. And very, very hard mentally as well. Really hard mentally. It's important to keep the hope alive and uh, stay positive. Always stay positive. And uh, if you need a transplant, you just have to believe you're going to get one and do what it takes. Um, go to all the appointments. Put your health first, that's what I do. The health is everything. Everything revolves around your health. You come to a point in life where you've got to put that first. Don't be missing your appointments. Don't be lax and fearful of what the future holds when you, you've got a health condition. Do everything you got, can to get yourself better. Keep that hope alive. I'm a prime example of that. I've been through a heart transplant. I've been in a situation where I, I had, <laughs> it looked so bleak. I was clinging onto a tiniest bit of hope and I don't know how I've got to this point and got through it of going through the transplant. But I always kept believing, I kept staying positive. Um, I went to extra lengths to go to the appointments. Um, I gave everything and I respected the health professionals. NHS were amazing. Fight for your life. That's what I said say to myself there's times you've got to fight for your life and you need to get over some hurdles to continue this uh, wonderful adventure
on this planet. That's where I'll end the video, but I'll just turn the camera around. Face in nice Brent Knoll there. And you can see the moon in the sky, half of the moon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Peace.